Should we try and walk it out or just let it go? It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let's let's see if we can walk it out. Nope, I think we're just gonna puke anyways. Yep, there it goes. All over the ground, nice. Contaminating that crying steam with all of our probably alcohol that's been in our Too stomach. Late. Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Disco Elysium. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We just finished talking to our friend here, and now it's time to go take care of that body out back, shall we? That body's been sitting outside for quite some time. Let's click on, on this bubble here. Is a standard royalist theme used on everything from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. All right, what are its hallmarks? Cling to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. Where do I get such a crown? It comes free with a six pack of Vermilion Roy Dor. The words Roy Dor are stamped into the crown's plastic. And what about today's the world? The contemporary period stands still. The fated carousel of progress that doomed the royalists is itself winding down. Our time is decelerating into what no one knows. Hmm. Well, if you haven't checked out the previous episodes, please be sure to go and check those out before we de delve deeper into this. Like I said, we're about to go and check that body out back. Uh, but before we do that, we got some stuff up front here, it looks like. We got some circles here. What do we got here? We got a wheelbarrow with some snow melting in it. There's a nice lady sitting there. Let's see what these green dots have to say. Pigs go home with an illegible street name. And the other one says, F the police. Very nice. All right, let's talk to this nice young lady here. The RCM in Martinez. What you sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's All right, well, let's see if she knows anything about the, the murder here. Um, what can I help you with? Who are you exactly? Me? You're I not just, just the gardener. She hides it well, but behind the sweat and dirt there is something else in her rigid posture. Um, let's go with what are you I'm doing here? Working. I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. But well, as you probably know. There's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Mm, fair enough. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. <laughs> salts? Ammonium salts? Perhaps useful for later. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, if that, that body's a little stinky, uh, we might need to... to borrow those so we can we can uh, get close to it all right well let's of head course. on that way i won't hold you back canary yellow gloves if there's a corpse then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy oh fair enough okay can i borrow those sure. gloves keep them <laughs> i have another pair interesting that was very nice of her let's go ahead and put those uh gloves on thick latex gardening gloves and classic canary yellow maybe you should retire take up gardening as a hobby it's worth the thought all right, let's slap those, oops. Let's slap those gloves on. Why are you not slapping gloves on? There we go, third time's a charm. Maybe we're just that hungover still. All right, Kim, let's head on back this way. Uh, we'll check those out on the way back through. Oh, we got a fence here. Let's click on the fence, it's broken. The Franco-Nigerian cavalry or whatever it was can go through those. Covers the plaza mosaic. All right, let's go ahead and do our visual calculus. Uh, let's see if we can reconstruct the movement. 72%, I like those odds. By an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there and then accelerated straight into the fence, left the hole Big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. All right, let's tell Kim that car drove through the fence. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Let's see, is it connected to the case? I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. 
with the gem right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. Fair enough. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. See where they went, if you find the time. All right, well, I think we got it. Let's go ahead and pop on out there and keep heading towards the body. Uh, all right, so we got a, a kid there. What's he doing? He's throwing something? Yes. Oh my God, is he throwing rocks at the body? Uh, yeah, he is. Good for him. And there's a kid over there in the upper left too. Right there. Uh, okay, let's see what our bubble has to say. Smells like spoiled meats and curdled dairy. A human being that decomposes. Got some, uh, looks like some boot prints in the mud here. Let's go ahead and take a peek at those there as are well. There several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to 12 pairs have walked here. All right, what Heavy kind of boots? Heavy workers boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? All right, let's point them out to Kim. Not it. All right, and let's see if we can get 72%. Again, I like those odds. Let's see if we get that Maybe roll there. Than 12. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. All right, and let's go over them one by one. one standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Three, hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes. Man, are we really going to go through all eight? I thought it would just be four, a quick, you know. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. All right, well, let's make sure we're getting the right number. You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The All right, let's keep five, going. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Six. An aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Male or female, smaller foot. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this, ain't it's I? not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it. In a strange, beautiful way. Alright, let's count the rest, shall Seven, we? The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds... 200 kilograms. The big boy. Eight. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. Interesting. So we're looking for a big boy, maybe someone that has like a, a, a gimp or something on their right side. How many? And tracking your eye movements. Eight. <laughs> 400 million. Eight. I was pretty off then. I counted 20. Same guys going back and forth, way off, way. Um, yeah, we'll be nice. Uh, we're gonna still kind of go that superstar route, but I think we're not gonna be a jerk of a superstar. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Light steps, number 41 shoe, heavy one, 200 kilos, aberration, one so smoother than the other. How old do you think these tracks are? Uh, let's go with number 41 shoe. A woman or a kid? I don't think there's any way to be sure. Uh, could be a woman. Okay, how do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Just saying random things by looking at holes in the mud, I have no idea where. Uh, I don't. Understood. And then Anything let's go off a heavy one here. 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people? One oh, that's true, the carrying the other. Work? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Maybe it was a giant, could have been an extreme obese person. Yeah, this makes sense. Possibly, yes. And then the smoother one Interesting. here. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. And do you have any ideas there, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Maybe Ooh. a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Fair enough. Um, so one of the people we're looking for is a drummer. No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a really good idea, Kim. Um, if only if I had come up with that idea. It doesn't seem to hear you. Looking south toward the traffic jam instead. Hmm. The we should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. 
See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yes, prudent. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, okay, and let's see how old do you think these tracks are? Week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last warm day. So they sunk into the mud and then it froze. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. Man, this is actually really interesting. We're really diving in deep. I like this. Okay, uh, what do you think happened here, Kim? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Yeah. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. All right, so it seems like we've gone through all of it. Very nice. Good job, guys. Man, we're... We might be going that... Ooh, we got a box here. Let's open up this box. Man, superstar detective. Um, but a nice superstar detective. That's going to be our new thing. Uh, so we got some money and some magnesium. So let's go ahead and take all of that. Very nice. Um, still have to make quite a bit more money. Kids still throwing stones, even though there's two cops walking around. The kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. Um, all right, let's talk to the kid here, see what he has to say. Kuno's got this. All right, so he's no older than if 12. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a grim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, not a goofy Kuno. Uh, ooh, no, let's not tell him we're police yet. That's going to scare them. Uh, let's just ask for a moment of our time. Talk, pig. Yeah, they know Shit's we're cops. Shit's coming up strong? Throwing rocks? Uh, what's, what's he mean by shit's coming up strong? Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. Oh. The kid's on drugs. He's about to hit his high. Peak high. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Yeah, ride that lightning, Kuno. Kuno's riding it, see? All right. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake no, at No, please don't throw Kuno. the rake at us. That's not very nice. The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. All right, let's ask him uh, if he's got any suggestions. We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. All right, well, let's leave them be. Uh, if they're if they're flying high on drugs, don't need to interrupt that. All right, got our autosave clicking off there. Uh, the ladder's for kids. It wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Oh, interesting. So let's um, let's take a peek at the body here. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. That's very descriptive. You seem to be holding your breath. Oh, look down. The cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. All right, well, let's see. Let's see what, uh, yeah. Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He still won't say our name, huh? He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Ooh, I don't like that 3%. Let's turn away for now. Uh, maybe we can go get those smelling salts. Some kind of superstar. Oh, we completed a thought. Nice. <laughs> we are some kind of superstar. They uh, say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, fuck off and die, in a cool voice. You people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers or prophets. And you're the first one. Heck yeah, we're going to be the astrophysicist cop. So what are the bonuses? We got negative one to logic. 
um, but we increased our visual calculus, suggestion, electrochemistry, and composure. Uh, okay, so I guess that's that's good. Uh, and we'll, we'll leave that be for now. Um, so we're, really we gained one logic by doing that. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and back out of this. Let's go back and talk to that gardener lady, see if she'll give us some smelling salts so we uh, can approach that body. I don't like that 3%. Let's put the odds in our favor, shall we? Um, she already gave us gloves. Maybe she'll be super nice and give us those smelling salts. It's raining again. It is raining again. It was clear just an hour ago. Um, we need directions. How do I ask her for the, the smelling salts? Maybe, uh oh, I wonder if I have to try. I bet you I have to try. All right, let's go back and try. All right, boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. keep running this way. And we already did the boot prints. All right, hello friend, we're back. Let me go ahead there and probably puke all over my shoes. Right through you with his white. The smell yeah, that didn't is go well. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. Should we try and more walk it out or just let it go? It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let's let's see if we can walk it out. Nope, I think we're just gonna puke anyways. Yep, there it goes. All over the ground, nice. Contaminating that crying steam with all of our probably alcohol that's been in our Too stomach. Late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. Nice. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Yeah, we've all been there. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. All right, I'm it's sorry. Okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Oh, thank you, Kim. The hangover is clearly making these worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Uh, okay, where do the we get it woman, from? The gardener mentioned she used salts for the smell. Yeah, so now we gotta go if back and ask her. she doesn't have any, there might be some in the fridge store nearby. All right, let's go ask her. Okay, so we had to puke first. Now we can go get the smelling salts from her. Do a little run here. We also got Kim's uh, handkerchief on us. I wonder if it's monogrammed. Let's see here. Items. Yeah, no, it's worth 250. We could we could sell it if we really wanted to. All right, let's talk to this lady again. Hello. It's raining again. Yes, it, it is. Just um, an hour can ago. I borrow some of your salts? Sure. I'm done with them. Thank oh, you. We stuff. appreciate that. All right, let's run back this way now. Again, we're really getting our steps in. All right, running this way, do 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 do, running by the kids throwing stones. That's high on drugs. All right, and back to the body. There he still is, looking right. Oh, do I have to take the? Whoops, turn away. Okay, let's take the. Um, where do I put it? Keys, bullets, held right hand. How do I take it? It's not letting me take it. Um, I feel ammonia. All right, there let's try it again. Is looking Plus right one has ammonia. With his white eyes, the body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. All right, let's Admitting try this again. Is, the ammonia only makes it worse. What? The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once. The second time, not so much. When Man, we're really just letting it all go. Cheeks are wet with tears. So how do we get to the body then? The ammonia didn't help at all. I don't think I want to be a cop anymore. Um, let's just uh, say nothing. Are you okay, officer? <laughs> He's Your burping us. Here. It's aggravated further by alcohol withdrawal. Why can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole life? This is BS. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a cop. Uh, I think that I want to solve something else. Do it without me. I just can't keep it down. Uh, let's see if Kim can do no. it. This is a two-man assignment because it needs two officers to complete. I hey. need you. Charles' hand looks at you and the eye. You need to get your shit together. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. 
then come back and have another go. All right, well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning on the first day. We've puked twice. That's probably a good place for us to stop here. Uh, thank you so much for coming out and watching this Disco Elysium video. We uh, worked our way outside, finally got to the body after, what, this is the third episode, and this body's been sitting here for over a week, and apparently it's so ripe we've vomited twice. I don't know how there can be much more inside our stomach. Talk to these kids, sort of. They're both high on drugs, and it sounds like we need to go do a little interviewing around the area before we come and deal with the body. So we'll do that in the next episode. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Comment on down below what you think is going on, what you think is going to happen. Will our man in green with yellow gloves be able to save the day, or is this all for naught? If you've really enjoyed this content, on, go ahead and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. And we'll see you in the next Disco Elysium video.